Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. Um, today, we're going to take a look at the lovers. But when we take a look at the lovers, which is card number six, we also have to take in count the two of cups. We'll cover the two of cups when we get to it, uh, but we have to really look at the two cards together. They're rather quite related. Now, if you notice with the lovers, you've got this lovely sort of setting, Garden of Eden, and over here on the tree next to Eve, you've got the snake with the apple that she wasn't supposed to eat, the apple of knowledge. But you know, what the Bible isn't really saying, modern Bibles, is that snake there is Lilith. That was Adam's first wife. And Lilith was made in her own flesh. She had her own mind. And so she didn't do everything that Adam wanted her to do when he wanted her to do it. She had her own will about her. And this was just causing mayhem in the Garden of Eden. So, because of her lippy ways and answering back to Adam, God said, okay, that's it. I'm going to turn her into a snake. I'm going to put her up in that tree and be done with it. And that's what happened, you see, yeah? If we believe in the this historical stories. And then he created Eve, lovely little Eve, you know, flaxen-haired, not raven-haired, made from Adam's rib, so she would bend to his wishes, not answer back, and said, don't ever eat from that tree. But what God didn't tell Eve is that because he didn't want her to go to the tree because Lilith, might vex her and convince her that she can have her own mind as well. Anyhow, we all know the rest of it. Here we go, spending our lives trying to find our significant other, our soulmate. But that's just a little bit of oddball history, okay? Um, what you've got here with the lovers, when it comes up with the, into a spread, it means a relationship formed through spark, through a chance meeting. Um, through just instantly attracted to someone. And when I say chance meeting, it, it, it could be, you know, something along the lines, you're in a supermarket, drop a can of beans, you gotta, you know, grab it, some good looking guy picks it up and hands it to you and you form a relationship and it's very sparky and chatty and wonderful and you're very sexually attracted to each other. Okay, that's a chance meeting. But let's talk about the Two of Cups, because you've got two significant relationship cards in the deck. One is the Lovers, and this card is a relationship formed through chance meeting, through spark. And then you've got the Two of Cups, which is a relationship formed through an introduction. And we'll cover that in more detail when we get to it. Now. It doesn't necessarily have to be male, female, or necessarily sexual chemistry. It can be that you end up meeting a friend at another friend's birthday party and you bump into each other and immediately you form a really good friendship that's always sparked, there's debate, there's communication. D do you know what I'm saying? It can just be friendship as well. It, it, it doesn't have to be sexual. So just keep that in mind when the lovers comes up in a spread. Now, if it indicates a person or it's in the person position, you're really talking about someone um, who has both male and female qualities to them. Someone that it's very hard to place their sexuality um, because they don't fit in normal parameters. A bit like Eddie Izzard. Yes, on the outside he looks gay, but on the inside he's very much male and he very much has uh, relationships with females rather than other men um, you know some people we look at and and we can't we can't really decide what pigeonhole to put them in that's that person would be represented by the lovers um, the usually quite unique people that don't uh, follow parameters if you get what I'm saying you know they're not not following other people's rules and we can't pigeonhole them Okay, hope that's helped. Have a lovely Wednesday. Bye.